Hey guys, my name is Minnie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to test out a product. The product we're testing out today is the Moxie Eyeliner. So this eyeliner is a different kind of eyeliner. It is a liquid magnetic eyeliner. This magnetic liner goes along with this right here. So these are eyelashes, false eyelashes. And I did a video on magnetic eyelashes before. These ones right here, I'll link it up above. Um, the difference between these eyelashes and this product is that this one doesn't require using a magnetic liner. It just kind of has two lashes per eye and it's supposed to just clip onto each other and you should be good to go. You can check out my video on the magnetic eyelashes and today we are going to test out the magnetic eyeliner with the magnetic eyelashes. So this product right here, Moxie Lash, only has one lash per eye. And this one has two lashes per eye, so that's the difference, okay? I bought two styles of lashes. This is the Sassy Lashes, and these are the Flashy Lashes. Let's open them up. Here's Flashy, and here's Sassy. So these lashes, one pair of Luxury Fox Minx lashes. It is cruelty-free strip lash, and you can use it up to 30 times. Honestly, between two of them, they look exactly the same, so I can't really tell between Sassy and Flashy. Anyways, we'll try it out and see which one looks cuter. All right, so let's open this up. This liquid magnetic eyeliner. I'm gonna leave all the information down below for you guys to see in case you guys are interested. It says to shake well before use, start at the inner corner of your eye and lightly continue gliding your brush tip for precise, subtle definition. Layer to maximize magnetic attraction and allow to dry for one or two minutes before applying your lashes. All right, so let's do this. Here it is, this is what it looks like. I love the rose gold. Let's line my eye line. So it's just to start in the inner corners right here. I feel like it's a little gunky. Yeah, it's difficult to apply. Ooh, messy, messy. <laughs> oh my God. Let's do this again. So liner is like definitely very thick. You have to go slow because I feel like if you go too fast, it'll get a little messy like I did earlier. So that's one layer and I'm gonna do another one for maximum um, application. See like even like, if you guys see that, the brush itself is very like separated and it's doesn't seem very precise, so kind of difficult to uh, line your eyes. But we'll we'll just work with it. It almost feels like old mascara, like how it gets all gunky. I think like if you dip your wand in here and just kind of like edge it off at the tip, then it'll give you a more precise um, brush because you're brushing it together and making the brush go uh, to, to an angle point. But then again, I'm losing product. <gasps> ah, see? Okay, once again, I just went for, I just went in again and it's like super, super thick. Okay, for sure, right now, I just don't like, I don't like the eyeliner. It's just really messy and really just like, oh my God. See that? It's like, it gets worse and worse every time I dip it. Come on, give me a good one. Oh geez. I'm going in for a third layer just in case. Maximum protection because like if you go out into the wind and your eyelashes get blown away, that's not cute. All right, so got my eyeliner on and let's wait one to two minutes. All right, so five minutes is up and it says to wait one to two minutes, but I wanted to do five just in case. Um, right now, it feels very, very goopy and very thin. Thick. See if it, it's not, no, it's not dry. So, see, look at that. I feel like it's really messy. All my fingers are starting to get all like messy and yeah, it feels <sighs> sticky and waxy and I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Right now it's just really hard to manage and you can see like when I, right here, like the application, I barely opened my eyes and it already went up to my, to my lids, so. Anyways, let's just try it and go with the flow. On one side, I'm gonna use the flashy eyelashes and the other side, I'm gonna use the sassy one. Just apply them onto me lashes. 
see if it works. Right. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Very cool. You guys see that? So you have to kind of apply it right because if you apply it wrong, it's going to look all bumpy. So let me redo that again and make sure it's nice and straight. Yeah, much better. There it is. This is the flashy. Let's do the sassy. It really just like ugh, really grabs onto each other. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's do that again. I think if you're going to do, uh, I think maybe you should wait a little bit more than five minutes because I don't feel like it's dry. Here, let me try to, uh, there it is. That's not a good application, but let me, let me do that again. Takes a while to really um, get used to. Okay, so it's a slight difference. I feel like um, this one's a little bit more, but I was, when I ordered this online, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more um, dramatic. It seems very soft for my taste. Yeah, so for flashy and sassy, it feels very um, natural. <laughs> Very, very natural. I love the concept. I love the idea. I'm just not sure about the eyeliner. Maybe I have to get used to it, but um, I think for someone who doesn't want to deal with glue, it's not much difference. I feel like this one is like a lot of work, a lot of gunk and glue. You still have to wait for it to dry on the lashes and then apply. I feel like with glue, you can manage it better because this, when you get closer to your eyes, the lashes, it just kind of like right in there and you're like, okay, we gotta adjust. And then we gotta readjust, readjust. So maybe it takes time to uh, get used to and like um, fine tune. It's a cool concept, but I think when you're getting closer into like uh, magnify into my eyes, then you can see that the eyeliner is gunky. I don't know if it's because of three layers, but I don't know if I would use this for every day. I feel really heavy and the Eyeliner doesn't feel clean. It feels really thick, goopy, gunky, and hard to work with. Who knows, I could get used to it in the future, but as for now, just seeing it coming out of this, it's just really like, ugh, too much. Like dried up. Anyway, so let's put these uh, eyelashes to the test and see if it works. I got my Dyson right here, and I'm gonna blow the heck out of my face. All right, <laughs> let's do this. Oh my God, did you guys see that? <laughs> I'm looking at my husband like, it's not moving. It's seriously just sticking there. Like if you have a convertible car. Okay, we're getting somewhere. This is very nice. Now it just like makes a whole difference. I love the fact that it's staying. Maybe you just gotta get used to the gunkiness of the eyeliner. I mean, I'm not happy with it, but maybe you can work around it, be more careful, more practice. But I think it's a pretty amazing concept. So let's try these lashes with the um, other types of magnetic lashes that I got from um, before. These lashes come with two per eye. That's why there's four in here. And I think I'm gonna double them up for the maximum pleasure of the dramatic eyelashes. So you can see it's a little bit like um, thicker. Let's take this off. All right. Okay, so when you're taking these off, the actual magnetic eyeliner is getting picked off as well. So you have to clean this. Make sure that you get all the uh, magnetic goop out before you uh, reuse it again. For these lashes, you don't need eyeliner. You just clamp them on each other and then hope for it to just hold onto your natural eyelashes. But that was not cute for me before. So we're gonna use it with the eyeliner. Okay, so it does work. You can see that they're much more dramatic than the other ones. It does work, but um, it has lesser magnets. These have three, and I think these have uh, like five of them. So they kind of like attach better. Let's try the uh, blow dryer test on this. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm just loving the whole blow dryer test thing. It's just amazing because sometimes even with glue, it'll just come off and these magnetic lashes are just basically staying on to the magnetic eyeliner. So yeah, I, I like it. It works well with other magnetic lashes. So if you don't want these types and they're not dramatic enough, the flashy and the sassy lashes are the most dramatic lashes from their line. And I... I feel like they're really natural. So if you're scared to go dramatic, these are definitely not dramatic at all. Um, the ones that I got from before on my own from AliExpress, these ones, they're doubled, so they're a little bit more dramatic. But even by itself, without being doubled, it's a little bit more dramatic than the Moxie lashes. Let me try to show you what it looks like single, okay? So yeah, even when it's single, it's more dramatic than the Moxie lashes. So if you don't like their lashes, you can always buy their eyeliner and then use other lashes that are magnetic. That'll work just fine. Just, I guess, just get used to the eyeliner. I think the eyeliner is a little bit... Like, I'm in the air with it. I feel like I don't want to use it, but because it's an awesome concept, then maybe I should practice more in order to get used to the whole idea. But I do think that if people don't want to use glue and deal with the hassle and you know work with this and get used to this and definitely um, this would be a better option I definitely would not wear this to a show because I feel like when I'm on stage and I'm sweating and all that crazy stuff like things could definitely go wrong and you never know <laughs> if it just like fall off I know I did the whole blow dryer test but glue seems to be much more you know hands-on and attached than the magnetic ones because it, it just for me it's more like a confidence thing so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed doing the whole blowout thing it was very interesting i didn't think that it would stay honestly i thought it was just gonna like but it did and um yeah very very nice all right, guys, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Sound off below. And uh, I'll leave everything down in the box below for you guys, both lashes and the Moxie eyeliner. All right? So enjoy. And um, I'll catch you guys next time in my next video. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. All right, see you guys next time.